All right, so I got a little bit of a public service announcement. I got a high mileage, 2,500 Ram. It's got the 5.9 Cummins in it with the 48 RE. And uh, 350,000 miles on it, 57,000 miles on it, 357, something like that. And I had it for about four days and I started developing a very bad shifting issue. Where, at the moment that I'd be getting I don't know, into the 20 to 30 range, it would start acting erratic, shifting up and down and up and down like it could not decide where it wanted to go. It wanted to, it, it just, it just couldn't decide. It'd go, and then you'd stomp on the gas and then it would cut out. There'd be no throttle input to the engine at all. And it would uh, lurk forward and, and then it would go way up here into the 3,000, 3,500 range and then back down and go rah, 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 back and forth, back and forth. It was, it was terrible. I was pulling my hair out. It's got an, a transmission. It had a transmission job. I had the paperwork done. It only has barely 20,000 miles on the new transmission. I looked at every component that they replaced at, on it. So I did some testing, did some thinking, and I did some praying, some heavy praying. Come to find out, if I was taking it down a hill at 30 miles an hour and let off the let off the throttle, let off the accelerator, so I would have no throttle input whatsoever, none. This would still want to, it would still want to act like it was trying to figure out what gear it wanted to be in. So I'm like, all right check the codes and I pulled up a P0700. The auto parts store doesn't have a TCM checker. They only have the ECM checker, the OBD2. So you need to take it to like a Dodge dealership or whatever and have them look at the TCM because they have all the stuff for that. But I was like, the hell with that. I ain't gonna pay for, you know, I ain't, I ain't gonna pay for that. So I was like 700, all right, 700, that deals with uh, engine stuff, or not engine stuff, uh, transmission stuff. So I figured, all right, so something wrong with the transmission. At first I thought it might've been, oh, the, uh, the uh, throttle position sensor. Like, oh, it doesn't know where it wants to be because the throttle position sensor is telling it that it has to be in this area. So it's causing it to blah, 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 well, it didn't pull any codes didn't pull any codes for the throttle position sensor whatsoever so i left that alone i was like okay i ain't gonna dick with that it, it's easy but at part stores you can only buy you have to buy this whole setup and it's like 200 bucks online in some places you can just get the sensor it's right back behind this thing and you have to take out you know handful of bolts to get to that sensor and you can replace the sensor itself for uh, 40 bucks, but I wasn't pulling that code. So I did some thinking and I was like, all right, no throttle input going downhill and it can't decide what gear it wants to be in. So I was like, all right, shift sensor. Well, I looked at the paperwork and they replaced, you know, the, the valve body. They, they replaced all of the hardware, all of the hardware internals inside this thing, all of it but I didn't see that they didn't replace this piece here. So this piece, TSS 100, all right? Management products, NAPA. This thing costs 33, like 33, 34, 35 bucks, something like that, and it looks like this. What this is, is this is a speed input output sensor, okay? speed input output sensor this tells the transmission how fast you're going and what gear it's supposed to be in according to the rpm and throttle input that is applied and i did some checking on that and i was like well hell you know let's hope it's that because it's 30 bucks i don't want to pay 80 90 120 200 250 up, upwards of a thousand trying to pay for somebody to go into the transmission so that guy right here for a 2003 2500, it's a Ram. It doesn't have the Cummins placard on it, but I will show you that we are a 24 valve diesel Cummins and this is a 5.9. So I'm sure if you have a 48 RE on a, I don't know, a seven liter or whatever, 
I should probably be the same thing now. Oh shit, I parked in a damn puncture vine patch. Damn goat heads. We have to spray them too. Looks like they're starting to flower. So, okay, so behind the wheel, there's my door seam about in line with the front of the seat. If you come straight down, it's that guy right there. Right there where that bracket is and that wire. All right, let me lay down in the damn goat heads and see if I can't get stuck. That guy. See him with that wire? Now I just took some channel locks. I'm not sure how big that is. It's probably about an inch or whatever. I just had some channel locks. It's a piece of plastic, so you gotta be pretty, gotta be pretty careful with it. You undo that wire. I didn't check the wire, I just replaced the part. Undo that wire. And when you pull that out, be careful because you will drink some transmission fluid. But if you're quick, you won't spill a whole lot. And I replaced that. That guy right there. Ugh. All right. Yeah. That guy right there. Now, when I drove this to the parts store, I had to drive about 15 miles. And the whole way, this thing was bucking and kicking and bucking and kicking. Like, it didn't decide what gear it wanted to be in. It wanted to run high. And it wanted to be in third gear, then fifth gear, then second gear, then first gear, and then third gear, and then fourth gear, and then third gear, and then fourth gear, and then third gear, and then overdrive, and then third gear, and fourth gear. All the while, I was driving... I was traveling at the velocity of about between 30 and 40 miles an hour. Okay. On the way home, that whole 15 miles, I didn't have a single freaking issue. So that $33, $35 part there, again, speed, output, input, speed, sensor seems to have resolved the issue hallelujah i'm so glad i don't have to spend ridiculous amounts of money on the transmission of this thing of which i just bought i know i'm mileage and all but transmission's been redone engine is solid no leaks everything's still alodized it's great so there's your public service announcement for a 5.9 Cummins with a 48 RE transmission. My particular one is a 2003. Good luck to you guys.